Hello everybody and welcome to Touring With Us and of course you're joined by myself Nick C and welcome to this channel wherever you are actually witnessing this program here which is all about highlights here and we say highlights actually but it's actually come from the lives that recently have been broadcast over the weekend of Saturday the 17th of July 2021 and Monday the 19th of July 2021. Obviously that was Freedom Day. But of course, like I say, um, first video that I've talked about is the first date here. The first date here that I mentioned, which is Saturday the 17th of July 2021. Well, of course, it's the video which we put together very cleverly here, very much in a magical style here. And it was the case of bumping into very much something that we didn't actually expect at all. And we did it and we bumped into Walk With Me Tim. Otherwise known or also known as Tim Linden. Not from Linton. I've said that several times now. And of course I think he got the joke by now. I think you lot have got it as well at the same time. But yeah, Tim himself is a videographer, known one. And, of course, he does a lot of stuff in the UK and sometimes abroad. And he's probably hoping to expand. And credit to him, very, very good credit to him because he's done incredibly well. Some of the stuff I wouldn't be able to cope with because he's got a lot of workload, I've got to say, on that particular note. We are sort of, well, laid back more than he is. But first, of course, obviously I mentioned Freedom Day, Monday the 19th of July 2021. It is, of course, from the electronic organ of the Great Yarmouth Minster of St. Nicholas, Julian Clowes, to play the fantastic organ there. So let's have a look at Julian Clowes playing this beautiful piece in the background of my actual commentary that I did on my live. But this is the highlights edition.
Hello. Nice to meet you. Who are you? Oh, Nick. I know who you are. You're Nick. Of course you know me. You're right. You're lovely. Yeah. 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 No, I can't take money off you. Don't give me money. No, no, no. I can't do that. You ever? How long are you here for? About four days. Yeah. Four days. You're always in Great Yarmouth. Touring with us, obviously. What is your favourite part of Great Yarmouth? So what would you say could be an improvement for Are you Yarmouth? interviewing me right now? <laughs> what not? could be an improvement for Great Yarmouth? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Sea Life Centre needs a touch of paint. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, you're not Mr Motivator, are you? I don't think so. No? <laughs> you're a great man. Music to um, St Nicholas Church. Oh, are you? Yeah, 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 it's a great young minister. I will check out your video later, yeah, guys. Yeah, What's your YouTube um, channel? Yeah, uh, touring with us. Please touring with us. Uh, give, 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 um, give, give us no, I can't take money off you. Give that is very money. kind of you, but I can't take money off okay. you. I wish I could, but that'd be really bad, but I can't. But that is very kind of you. You, you get yourself a drink. Okay. You take care, won't you? See you later, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, you anyway. <laughs> you go. Almost chipped over there. How embarrassing. <laughs> Gary, uh, Gabby, they, they want to give you some money. How lovely are those guys? More open shops. <laughs> Gabby, yes, that, that is what they are called, the Bubble Brothers. I think they're watch either they're watching this or recording, I don't know. So, um, this is where the signal may go a little bit dodge as we head on to uh, the Tanya Pier. And I might have to mute it as well because of the, uh, the live music. They've got a YouTube channel, go and check them out. Give them a bit of love. They come all the way from Haverhill. Um, he sends me his videos every week. He started on YouTube recently. And um, yeah, give him some love. Go past Faulty Towers. Do you want to see Faulty Towers again? I will actually go and show you that. Andrew, that was just a couple of people who watch my channel. They've got a YouTube channel themselves. And uh, they kept asking me, am I, am I out tonight? And I was like, not sure when, not sure when. Their channel is called Touring With Us, I believe. The well, question is, uh, what do you like about the night of night of Yarmouth? The night is very cool, and I think it's very refreshing. Um, it's more refreshing than it is during the daytime. So yeah, I've been very, very confident in doing so, and it was great to see what with Tim, as in Tim Linden, to speak to him very briefly. But I forgot to say about that wonderful word he uses: unique which is a kind of like unique seaside resort compared to a lot of them here. And of course, it is a terrific place to come. What do you like about Great Yarmouth? Well, they've got everyone here out here, haven't they? Really? Really, to be honest with you, they've got things out here. Um, unfortunately, the theatres are not properly prepared yet, but um, I've got things up in now and um, fun things. That's what I like about here. People if there's one wish that you could change for Great Yarmouth, what could that be in your own mind? A bit more hotels, I think, uh, as well. Um, a little bit cheaper coming down here, so I mean, it's not too, not too bad. It could, could be worse. Could be. The waterways is down that way. We're not going to go there today, but maybe, just maybe, we might walk there another time. This is a new um, era. And this is a new era, new freedom. A new, a new life. A new life. This is the cinema. Because, <laughs> you know, I've shown it to you, but you haven't actually properly seen it. Once somebody done a video of that, which is great, and actually got inside. And, of course, the ARC cinema is what it's called. It is touring with us, by the way. No, I can't that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> great Yarmouth. It's about... 130 miles from Great Yarmouth. All right, okay. That's probably a place in Norfolk somewhere. But um, yeah, nice little badge there to look at. I do like these notice boards, by the way. I like them everywhere we go. Apparently the toilets are open. Wow. Because you actually got the ladies open. So yeah, that's not 
very often that the toilets are open over here uh, late. If you was to go somewhere inland, they would be closed by now. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I think I might move here. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> something uh, a lot of towns and cities could improve on towards, opening late. Uh, uh, towards over there is um, yeah. Seashore. Seashore is I'll, that I'll way. Say about a mile, about, about a mile away, yeah, yeah, somewhere down there near the waterways. Well, the waterways is first because there's a walkway around there, and it apparently gets very dark quickly down there. Uh, you literally haven't got much light down there, so we won't do that tonight. But there is a waterway just down there which you haven't actually seen. There's not a lot for you that be of interest to you, but of course it's just a walkway you know, if you fancy walking a lot. <laughs> But I did actually walk there last time, so yeah, maybe we'd take a look at that one day. There is a marine pub down the other side here, uh, which is just literally, literally, sorry, to the right, and you head down towards hey, that hey, way. Hang on. Oh, you got something else you want to talk about? This is called North Drive down this here. Yeah, North Drive. Yeah. Um, just to prove that, because Julian could be lying, but he's not. He's got it spot on there. <laughs> So yeah, um, obviously you can go towards that way, um, towards uh, Britannia Pier. This bit here is formerly uh, that Darton Flood. Yeah. I don't know if it's going again, I don't know if No, we don't know about that. Let us know in the comments about that. So there you go, Euston Road is a rare road to walk down, but of course it's nice to come down at that, a sunset here. Uh, towards that way. Do you know what time it is? It's um, 29 minutes past nine. Is it really that late here tonight? Yep, but then, yeah, do you know what? Wayne Motivator has not tuned in live once. <laughs> is he busy? Is he in busy Abel or something? Where is he? Where is but, he? Perhaps he, he, he'll watch the highlights. <laughs> anyway, um, towards that Maybe side. he's scared of watching us. <laughs> Maybe we scare him. Yeah, <laughs> Because there's a lion pub down there. <laughs> well, that way, uh, you might not be able to see it on the camera. Um, is yeah. That Slippers Church. Yeah. Minister, where um, Tim started off. He started his walk down in that way. Yeah. But he went a different way to us. He, he went straight down that way. Uh, something we would do is walk through this way. Yeah. He can do it as well, but I mean, uh, we could do different things. Something that. Um, about people are not uh, um, taking notice of this is the car park I was talking about which is seven pound all day at the moment until yep. down to 40. and uh, I think they deserve a bit of um, you know praise for what they have done over the years um, you know even pre-pandemic what I would say is definitely walk down here at this time of night when it's lovely sunshine here you wouldn't want to do it during the winter because it's too cold <laughs> it is nice now, but there's a car park there for a pound from that pound. So, yeah, there's plenty of choice of car parks here. They obviously need the money, so that's why they're more dearer. It needs to smoothen their car park, but yeah, it used to be a hotel many years ago the Rains Court Hotel and that's probably where the hotel would have been and it cost it cost them a huge amount of money to actually restore this um, and you know I don't know if they would campaign about it but of course it's a bit like the Great Yarmouth Minister they need a lot of restoration money for the pipe organ which is sitting on the side of the actual minster itself it is a lovely building and hopefully we'll get some um, shots of that as well. Can't wait for that, Julian. We've got to put the um, car park in space if there's no spaces left. So they, they'll give you a, probably give you a space for free. But it, normally you'd, they would charge you um, if you're not living there. Um, <coughs> it's quite a cheap night, so I mean, you can get, it's, it's no cheaper than, um, no dearer than the Premier Inn. So I mean, it ranges between from, from 20 to 100 quid. Um, it depends on the rooms. As you can say, there's no breakfast as, as it stands. There's lots of breakfast prices around this area anyway. So I mean, 
you, you, you don't have to worry, it's only a night stay. Look at that, um, a bit anyhow, of moon there. Anyhow, um, we're leaving up here now, we're going to go in to have a, we might have a cup of tea, we might have some sort of um, mm. um, refreshment before we go out again. Exactly, so my fakes to June, hopefully you heard him very well, because mm. sometimes you come up very muffly, but of course, yeah, I think... Of I think I can hear you is whether the audience can but yeah that's the moon that you're seeing there not a flying object here or unidentified flying object you get a lot of noises whether it's a motorbike or a car going by so it's not a UFO well of course when we say UFO unidentified flying object well of course it stays there where it is but my camera doesn't show the moon in full detail so you can get the gist of it there and i tried to get a shot of it earlier but uh, i failed to do so but anyway that's another thing altogether but what we would like to say is a huge thank you to of course firstly tim who came on today wonderful gentleman great smile on his face when we spotted him for the first time he literally said who are you i remember him saying that and then uh, he clicked on um because <laughs> obviously uh, i would actually feel that way if i had um you know or we had uh, su uh, subscribers of that amount that he's got on his youtube channel uh, he would actually feel a bit um as if you know you got to tell people who you are you know um in case they're after him sort of thing but yeah uh, or after that person so it's, it's not when no one else is really listening to tonight so yep. do uh, listen to the highlights of our uh, programs yeah and um well i mean touring with us as well you know and the tourist information show and the social show we do a lot of shows but of course you know um it's just been a lovely evening here it really has been enjoyable thank you very much julian for getting the courage to come out here and i think kim smith will be really proud of you i think i think she might give you a donation who knows she can do it by paypal you know and and uh, half of the money will be going on charity so yeah if you want to know more details about that Go on our about section for touring with us. We're going to leave it here. Thank you so much. Voice of love and love matters. And the alternative to boring life. We are. Thank you very much. And my thanks to Julian. Give us a wave. And take care till next time. And uh, of course, do check out our next live. In a location near you. Soon. See you then. Bye. What I would like to say is a huge thank you so much for watching this video today and I'm doing this video here on a Sunday afternoon here from my time it is 25th of July 2021 and in the afternoon of 34 minutes past 2 p.m. otherwise known as 2.34 p.m. I don't know why you'd need to know all that information but just in case you do but like I say uh, we've enjoyed putting together these videos well it's mostly been me putting together these videos to the highest order and uh, really we as in I as well hope you actually enjoyed them. Firstly we showed you of course on the electronic organ three manual in terms of organ otherwise known as three keyboards if you don't know what manuals mean because sometimes I think it's something to do with actually manuals for equipment you know instructions kind of thing. But, of course, that organ, of course, is the temporary kind of organ that has been put in place instead of the one that is needing to be campaigned for a lot of money, otherwise known as substantial amount of money that needs to be sort of fundraised for that. And hopefully it does if you are watching in the future and it is substantially kind of, you know, fundraised, then all well and good and thumbs up and well done to everybody that has donated but of course in the meantime if you haven't heard of it being actually restored and um, being like a proper organ because it's got huge pipes in the middle of the great yarm of minster that's what we are actually talking about the great yarm of minster of st nicholas and, and the actual pipe organ the original pipe casing is actually bang in the center and they can't literally move it so yeah, that's something that you may not be aware of. But uh, if you check out those videos and uh, you'll see the pipes in the middle of the actual minster itself. It is actually a church, but it's actually also a minster as well. 
But yeah, uh, the actual electronic temporary organ that Julian was performing on was actually uh, connected to uh, some side speakers, which actually has a subwoofer and uh, probably some stereo speakers along with that as well. Now, the organ itself sounding very, very classy because it's been partly taken from the Peterborough Cathedral organ which is quite useful to know that information. So, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, if I've said any information on this whilst watching this, please let me know in the comments, then I'll correct it for next time. And uh, once these videos go up, I can't actually delete them because, you know, I'd have to redo it again and it, it would take a huge amount of time. So I won't bother with doing that. But, of course, if I've done any mistakes, I will correct it for next time. That is all part of learning so we can learn for next time. But if you want to comment on any of our videos or even give us a thumbs up, we can appreciate that. And we do appreciate that as well. And we appreciate every mini super chat that we take from you uh, for our refreshment fund and, of course, the Salvation Army and Reach, which, of course, more details can be found on our About section for touring with us on the YouTube channel. And we're also on Facebook, the main page. That's where we normally take our lives from. And we put them together in a kind of like, I would say, edited version. And we're also on Twitter. We've got over a thousand followers on that, which is good. And, uh, of course, sometimes we showcase some of our videos on that. And wherever you see us, make sure you subscribe to us. If you haven't already, we do appreciate it immensely. Sometimes, well, from time to time, we do take the odd break to recharge. And then we aim to do some more maybe lives and some more videos will be put up each week and uh, sometimes we'll narrow it down to videos only but occasionally we'll do a live and um, make sure you can uh, tune into that <laughs> tune into that uh, we're past you now but yeah uh, make sure you tune into that on the uh, facebook page which is our official page and uh, that's what we'll use until we get 1k subscribers because we're not actually there yet we've got a long way to go yet but even though we've got over 200 followers as in uh, subscribers well you can call it followers if you like but it's actually called subscribers it's free of charge same as twitter when you've got followers it's no different to that so thank you very much for watching it has been nick c my thanks to julian who actually performed at the time and perhaps we'll get him to come and have a little bit of a chat about of course what he has played and how he felt the videos of touring with us have been for him thank you for watching and please leave us a comment we'll see you next time hopefully all being well now i'm going to ask julian some questions here so first of all julian how do you think it went for you playing the organ for the first time in about a year or so? Maybe it was before that. But how do you feel it was for you, given the kindness of the Director of Music of Great Yarmouth Minster of St Nicholas, Martin Marshall? The kindness of, of him to actually allow you to play that three keyboard organ, the electronic organ. So how do you think it went for you? It was a bit early at the start, but um, as soon as you got into it, it made it slightly easier. So, of course, um, are you looking forward to the next visit? I hope so, yeah. So, what was the best thing about the actual time that you did, you know, playing the organ? Well, well we had the, uh, the about an hour in, in, on, on it. Yeah. So, of course... What would you advise someone that, uh, of course, is not from the area to come and play that organ? Well, you have to get in touch with the um, director of music, obviously, and it uh, depends what you, instrument you are playing. Right, OK, that's brilliant. So, of course, what was your best highlight of the Great Yarmouth visit in Norfolk recently? Well, obviously meeting um, what was him. <laughs> yeah, so that that was the best thing, was it? And yeah. uh, what what really did uh, inspire you about that? The shock of it. The shock of it. Uh, explain. Well, um, shock of him. Uh, uh, we 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 found him eventually. 
Exactly. So, yeah. Um, but unfortunately, you couldn't take your money. No, no, no. So, 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 so you're going to have to give him a real super chat. We've got a mini super chat here on oh, the yeah, channel because so, we haven't got 1K subscribers yet. But when we do get 1K subscribers, we'll be able to get to um, his stage of the actual super chats. But we've got mini super chats at the moment. So, yeah, we are trying to uh, work on that. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to do that then instead. Well, he's real super chat. Well, yeah, obviously he can't take money because he, he hasn't got a cash register or some, uh, or uh, he hasn't got a... Or he doesn't just take money on him because I don't think he carries money with him in case he loses it or something. Well, it could be that. I mean, yeah. It might be the main reason. It might not no, be no. to do with COVID or anything. If anybody wanting to go to Great Yarmouth for any reason, you know, if you wanted to encourage people to go to Great Yarmouth, how would you encourage them to go about it? Well, um, it depends where you want to stay. Um, you have to book in a night stay, so or, or in more than that, rather. And mm. then get, um, if you haven't got no car, you have to get there by a train. Depends where you are from. From exactly. So if you're from Cambridge, it's, it's easy. You can go to Cambridge. Can you, can you give us a bit train? more finally detail? Yeah. Sorry, Julian. Um, uh, can I give you? Well, can you give me, actually, uh, a um, more detailed version of what you were saying when you were actually there? Because we couldn't really hear your voice very well. So you were telling us about the hotels and that. It needs more hotels. What do you actually mean by that? Well, um, it, it, it needs some something. Uh, they're all getting bored up, aren't they? I mean, they mm. know where to stay. It is, it is a fascinating thing on that. <laughs> and I remember Tim saying, of course, uh, the um, thing that needs to be improved, of course, um, the, uh, well, uh, I th think the Sea Life Centre needs a bit of a paint. Uh, is it, is it was it the Sea Life Centre we were talking about? Well, I can't might, remember off the top of my head. It might have been, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for coming on today to talk about that. And uh, we hope to be in a, another destination soon. Wouldn't you agree, Julian? We'll see. We'll see where it goes, and it might be a local one. So, yeah, it'd be good. A little tiny walk here and there that we might showcase, even we'll if see. it's a video or a live. We don't know we'll what see. it's going to be yet. No, so no we're guarantees. going to have to decide that between us on no, that. Gu no guarantees yet. No, but we're going to have to decide how we're going to do it and when we're going to do it. No, no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's, we've, it's, it's all about working together on that one and working a, um, a time. So... My thanks to you coming on, and uh, hopefully you can join us on my next video highlights as well, and you can talk us through that as well, your okay. sort of famous uh, talk about it, and uh, your opinions about how you think it went for you, that kind of thing, and what was the highlight, that kind of thing. I'll be asking you that next time. Okay. So hopefully okay. the audience can join you then. And okay. uh, our thanks to you, Julian. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.